Talented and funny, she co-starred in the hit comedy series Community and on Nickelodeon's Drake and Josh. Now her and John Stamos star in the Disney Plus sports dramedy Big Shot. Welcome actress and comedian Yvette Nicole Brown all the way from Ireland where it's already nightfall. <laughs> yes, it's like about uh, almost seven. Here. It's all oh, that is so wild. So what are you doing in Ireland? Tell us. You know, I'm doing a, I'm doing a movie. Um, I can't talk about it yet, but I'm, I'm doing a movie. So I'll be over here for a little while shooting a movie. All right, very nice. You sure you don't want to break it in Chicago, <laughs> the third biggest I market in the I do not, because I'd like to keep the job. Okay, and a check, and I hear you on that. And speaking of jobs, you've got quite a few, but you're here today, of course, to talk about Big Shot. You are starring in that dramedy along with John Stamos, which Ryan told me that you used to have a little crush on back in the day day. I mean, who didn't have a crush on John Amos when he was blacky on General Hospital? Now, I was very young. I believe I was still in my mother's womb in the role. But I heard through her bed that he was very uh, good, so I fell in. Yes, uh, every woman, I think, had a crush on John Stamos. Every guy has hair envy. Uh, now, in this <laughs> show, I know that he plays a basketball coach. You play a principal. Uh, now, now, how would you be as a principal in real life? You know, I kind of think I... I'd be just like Cheryl Lynn. Like, I, I believe that sometimes you got to give a little tough love, but I think the main word or part of that phrase is the love part. So I think I'd be tough, but loving. That's oh. what I think. Okay. Yeah. And, and this is at a prep elite school. So tell us a little bit more about Big Shot and what folks can expect. It's a, it's a dramedy. So it's going to be a little serious, a little funny, a little everything, right? Yeah, it's a story of Marvin Korn who comes to this elite girls school and he has, he had a little rough spot in his life and this is his second chance. And so the show is really not even just about Marvin, it's about the girls that he encounters, the, the the staff members he encounters, and all of us have to learn about forgiveness and how to be better people and how to, um, to find our voice. So it's a really fun, sweet show and it celebrates uh, athletes, women athletes, and I think that's awesome. Yeah, now John, of course, we know from Full House, you mentioned his soap opera days, and he is a musician in real life as well. Did he mm -hmm. know much about basketball? Is he a sports guy? <laughs> no, if you saw the second uh, episode of the show, I don't know if John's ever even run in his life. If you've seen him run, you know, but he doesn't do it often. So no, and he, he nor I uh, have a uh, athletic prowess to be uh, spoken of. Um, but the girls are great. And, um, and Jessalyn Gilsick, who plays um, Holly, she's very athletic. So there's a couple of people that actually, are, you know, are worth, are worth the show in that way. Oh, that's awesome. And of course, you are in AKA. How does it feel to be have your soror be Madam Vice President addressed? Oh, as gosh. It's so great. Like every time I get to see um, VP Harris, I'm just so amazed, you know, and, and it makes sense that the, the, the a woman that's in the first African-American sorority would be the first female vice president it just kind of fits first and finest. But what I love that she says that her mother told her is you may be the first, but yeah. you will not be the last. Make sure you're not the last. And that's what I love about her as well. Now, I read that running for office is not out of the question for you someday. Is that true? Well, you know, I used to think that I wasn't smart enough and then Donald Trump happened. And I'm like, well, anybody can run. <laughs> um, I, think, I think the most important thing about uh, running for public office is that you should care about people and you should know what you don't know and surround yourself with people that actually also care about people and, and are smart. So I think that if you do it that way, if you start with your heart being in the right place and wanting people to have a better life, then I think you, sh you should run. So I've, I, I'm not planning on it, but I'm also now not against it like I used to be. Okay, so what would that office look like? You're talking about something as high as... I don't, like it. I don't know, it might be local dog catcher, I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, I'd go, I'd go wherever I felt like I was needed. You know what I mean? I think it's important to be... The whole point is people forget that government officials are public servants. So you're supposed to be there to serve, not to serve yourself, not to put money in your pocket, but to serve the people. So if I saw a space where I, where I thought I could be of service, then I would, I would think about it. Okay, well, you can just add that to your resume because you also <laughs> are in a, a black lady sketch show. And we just <laughs> recently had Gabrielle Dennis and Nicole Black on about that. And here you are as the judge in that. Girl, you got so many jobs. I mean, how are you juggling it all? And let's just talk about how brilliant this show is. Listen, the amazing Robin Thede, Issa Rae, um, Ashley Nicole Black, uh, Lacey Sky Townsend, uh, Gabrielle Dennis, these are all just ridiculously talented women who um, support each other and celebrate each other. I was happy to play, or blessed to play, Judge Anita Harper in the first season for the first round of Courtroom Kiki and Black Lady Courtroom. And to be asked back, 
to play again and to get to be silly and, and celebratory together with my sisters was just a dream come true. And this entire season of this show is going to be, y'all not ready. I'm just gonna say y'all, not, right. not ready. You know what I loved about what you just said in your answer that I get to play? Because it's not work yeah. to you. It's like you're actually enjoying your job. And when you enjoy your job, that comes through. Yes, 100%. And you know, it's also a testament to what Robin has created over there. They create a space for you to play. Mm -hmm. You're coming in as a guest star, but you don't feel like you have to hold back. They, everyone encourages everyone to be funny. Everybody encourages everybody to be great. Everybody wants excellence from each other. And we celebrate that when we see it. So it's what you feel in that, watching that skit and, and all the other sketches, it's, it's real. Yeah. It's beautiful and it's real. Yeah. All right, before we let you go, Yvette, a lot of community fans out there and they want to see a reunion movie. I know you get that question a lot. Could this happen? Is this going to happen? You know, it's definitely going to happen. I don't I don't know when. No one knows when. But I'll say this. There's no one um, in the cast that is not excited about the idea of it. Like, there's nobody's like, I don't want to do that movie. There's <laughs> not a one. Everybody is like, yeah, let's do it. So when, I don't know, but it's, it's the, I think, the, the willingness and, and, and wanting to do it is half the battle with something like that. So I think we're, we're halfway there. Right. Well, listen, enjoy Ireland. You're still in quarantine. You just got there four days ago. So I am. I'm, when yeah, will you I got, be able to go out and about? Well, if I, if I pass my COVID test, I've studied up. I've crammed for my COVID test. If I pass <laughs> it tomorrow, I'm released out into the wilds because I'm also vaccinated. So if you're vaccinated mm. and you do your five days and you pass a COVID test, you're allowed to, to, to wear your mask and go out in the world. So uh, hopefully by tomorrow, I'll be able to actually see this beautiful um, place I'll be in for a while. Yes. All right, awesome. Well, good luck on the movie, the project. Of course, we will keep Thank up you. with you and get safe coming <laughs> back home. Thanks for joining Thank us, Yvette. So Thank you, guys. Good to see you. Of course, you can catch episodes of Big Shot now streaming on Disney+. Plus. We'll be right back.